Hey guys, welcome back. So this video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make this easel box card. So it's a little box that you could put goodies inside. You can actually put note cards or whatever. Um, I didn't fill mine up yet. I just did a real quick one just for the video itself. But it's you see, it's a little box. But then it stands and it's a little card. So you could do your little greeting there. And I'm going to show you another way to kind of make this if you just don't want a flat card. But I figure I come here and show you how it's made. It's super, super easy. Okay, so let's get started. I did some kind of prep work. Just so you guys can see uh, something, you know, kind of quick. But look how cute. This is my little notebook that I'm going to start writing like little tutorials and stuff. Um, so... These are the measurements. So if you want to screenshot this, go ahead and do it now. Okay. And it's super, super easy. All right. So the first thing you're going to need is to make the box. So for the box, you're going to need a cardstock that measures six by six. And we're going to score all sides at one, in, one inch. One inch on all score, all sides. Once you got that done, you're going to cut these flaps, okay, because we're going to create the box. You're going to glue these pieces together, everything together to create the bottom piece of the box, okay, and it's going to look like this. Once you have your box ready, you're going to need the band. So for the band, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures four and one eighth by 11 inches. So four and one eighth by 11. We're going to score at, uh, where are we going to do this? Okay, we're going to score this way. We're going to, because this is already had to score. So we're going to score at one and one eighth, five and one fourth. Six and three eighths and ten and a half. Okay, once all that is scored, what I like to do is fold your piece where the little piece is, and we're going to add glue to this piece right here. And this section is totally up to you if you want to glue it this way. Okay. Put it down. I just think it's easier for me anyway. And you glue this piece down. Because remember, you can always cover that piece. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're going to fold that. Fold it for a bit. Okay. And that creates your lid. So you see what I mean about that? You can fold that inside. But that doesn't bother me because I can always put a piece of cardstock over it. You could put something to cover that. Okay, so once that is uh, glued, there's your little, your, what you call that? Your sleeve. Okay, so there's your sleeve. Done. For this little piece here, that's up to you. Again, just cut a piece of, piece of paper, however thick or short you want, and then just do little score marks. Like a half an inch, half an inch. And you could do it that way. Super easy. But this is totally up to you. You can even put a little brad. That's why I don't have measurements for that. Because that's depending on your preference. Okay, so now we have the box. See that? So if you had a little, um, those little brads, you could put that there too. Okay, so we got the box done. Now we're going to do the easel base. Okay, which is this piece right here. You see that? For that piece, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures four and one eighth by eighth and one fourth. We're going to score it at four. Let me do it this way. We're going to score it at four and one eighth and six and one fourth. You're going to fold all your marks. Okay, and it's going to look like that. Then what you want to do is, okay, this part here. You see how I have this card right here? Just a simple one piece card. 
If you want that piece of car right there, you need one piece of car stock that measures four one eighth by four and one eighth, and it'll create that one piece. But if you want it to flip this way, then you're gonna need it at you need it at eight and one eighth by four and one eighth. But that's only if you want this card to flip up. If you only want this piece, just just a piece, you want it at four and one eighth. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that piece out. I thought I had a piece already cut. So let me just cut that piece real quick. We're not decorating this card, just showing you the base itself. So you get this piece right here and you're gonna glue it. You're only gluing this section here. So you take that, you add your glue, and you put this piece right here. You see, only that half. That's gonna create this piece right there. And guys, I'm telling you, this is it. This piece right here, you're gonna glue it to your box. So let's do that real quick. I sometimes hate making tutorials because I hate long videos. So I hope I'm making sense here. Okay, so you put that on your card, on your box. And that is it, guys. You have your little easel card. So you see, when you close it down, when you flip this piece down, you can mail it, send it to your friend, and then when they get it, they just have to lift and it stands. So to get that, you can add little flowers, you can add two buttons, it's totally up to you. But you see where you get the easel part? All you do is glue this half piece to your card and that's it guys. So I hope it made sense. I hope you understand. I hope you guys try it. Let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.